Mm-hmm. Pench had Henry Winkler, uh, I'll be sure, Vanilla. Henry I'll Winkler was the only one while watching the movie I gave the, I gave a pass to because yeah. he's fucking Fonzie. I, I'm sorry, he could do whatever he wants. That's yeah. it. He's just Fonzie. He it it. I I don't care what you say. You're Fonzie. I don't care what you call yourself. You're Fonzie, and yeah. and my generation, we get erect when we see Fonzie. Yeah. Yeah. No. Understandable. Understandable. I met him once. He is insanely hyperactive. Yeah. Henry Winkler is an insanely hyperactive man. Yeah. I always. And very short related story. Yeah. Uh, I remember Henry Winkler doing talk shows way back in the day because he was everywhere. He was Fonzie. And he had said that how much he was not Fonzie, you know? Yeah. And he was like, I was terrified the first time I had to ride the motorcycle. And every time I watched Happy Days after that, I can see it. <laughs> I yeah. can see how terrified he's smiling. His face looks fine, but he, this is where we, he was wearing the blue jacket, the like windbreakery thing when happy days first came with the, the first episodes. And he's riding into Arnold's on his motorcycle and he lifts his hands up to wave at everybody. And I could see how high that hand did not get. <laughs> And how yeah. quick and uncomfortable the wave was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're terrified. I can see yeah. it now. But yeah. Fonzie, Henry- can, Fonzie can be in whatever movie he wants to be. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Everybody else, fuck you. Henry Winkler had a series of kids' books called uh, Hank Zipser. <laughs> the Hank Zipser series and there were these kids books that were loosely based on his own childhood because apparently uh, Henry Winkler grew up with like some severe learning disabilities and he had uh, and, and, and shit yeah. so he had a really hard time getting through school and he was always getting in trouble and getting bad grades and so he wrote a book series about it and kids just loved it and especially parents because parents were like hey my kid is dyslexic and my kid mm-hmm. has a hard time in school do you have any books and I'm like yes I've got these books and they're really good and they're really they're really funny and they really do a great job of helping uh, kids who are having a hard time at school and I haven't even mentioned the best part Fonzie wrote these <laughs> so I would always keep a ton of them in the children's department and then one day my store in California was uh, two blocks away from the California State Fairgrounds where they were having a car show, and Henry Winkler was there signing his kids' books, but so many kids showed up that they ran out of books, so they called my store and said, Hi, this is Henry Winkler. I'm looking for my... If you have any copies of my oh. Zipser series, and I said, Ah, I've got a shit ton. <laughs> I've got a shit ton of your books. People buy the crap out of that. So 10 minutes later, he was in my store with his fucking handler. And he was just so like he shook my hand. You're the person who keeps all of my books in stock. Thank you so much. I can't believe it that you have so many copies of my books because we just ran out. And thank you so much. What's your name, Steve? That's great. That's great. You're a wonderful person. Thank you. Let me hug you. OK, I'm going to go buy these. And it's like, holy shit, I just got hit by Hurricane Fonzie. <laughs> like that was 30 seconds and you said like eight paragraphs like are you on something because that was mm-hmm. insane yeah so yeah i met henry winkler he's an insane man he's an insane hyperactive ball of something 